Wedlock, thou the nuptial couches, God. Lucina, thou a moon that tamers, that to guide his pristine bark. And Neptune, thou, thou stern ruler of the ocean's depth. And Titan, thou, by whose rays the shining day is born, thou, a triformed maiden Hecat, whose conscious beams with splendor shine upon the mystic worshippers, upon ye. Oh, I call the powers of heaven, the gods by whose divinity false Jason swore, and ye whose aid Medea may more boldly claim, thou world of endless night. The antipodes of heavenly realms, ye damned ghosts, thou Lord of Hades, dark domain, whose mistress was with trustier pledge one to thy side. Before ye all, this baleful prayer I bring. Be near. Be, Be near. Ye crime avenging furies, come and loose your horrid locks with serpent coils entwined. And grasp with bloody hands the smoking torch. Be, Be near. As ye once stood in dread array, Beside my wedding couch. Upon this new made bride, destruction sins, and death upon the king and all the royal line. But he, my husband, may he live to meet some heavier doom. This. I imprecate upon his head. May he, through distant lands, in want, in exile, wander, scorned and houseless. May, may he once more my favor woo. A stranger's threshold may he seek where now he walks a well-known guest and oh this the blackest curse I know may children rise to him to emulate their sire their mother's image bear <laughs> No one is vengeance one. one for I have children born. Nay, nay, tis empty plaints and useless words I frame. Shall I not rather rush against the foe and dash the torches from their hands, the, the light from heaven? Does Father Phoebus suffer this? Do men behold his face, as seated in his car he rolls along the accustomed track of sky serene? Why does he not return to the morning's gate? 
the loss of heaven reversing? Grant that I be born aloft in my ancestral core. Give me the reins, O oh sire, thy fiery team. Grant me to guide with lines of flame. And then Corinth thought with double sure delaying fate. Herself consumed with fire, shall light two seas with flame. But no, this course alone remains, that I myself should bear the wedding torch with acquiescent prayers, and slay the victims on the altar consecrate. Thyself inspect the entrails and seek there the way by prayer, if still, oh, oh soul, oh. thou livest, if there still remain at aught of old time strength in thee. Away with women's fears, put on thy heart a breastplate hard and chills as Caucasus. Then all the wizard arts that face this new Arpontus shall be seen again in Corinth. Now with mad, unheard of, dreadful deeds, whereat high heavens and earth shall fail and quake. My pregnant soul is teeming and my heart is full of pictured wounds and death and slaughter. Ah, oh, too long on trifling ills I dwell. These were my virgin deeds. Now that a mother's pains I felt, my larger heart must larger crimes conceive. Then passion Gird thyself, put on thy strength, and for the issue, now prepare! <sighs> Let thy rejection pay as dread a fee as when, of old, through impious deeds of blood, I came to him. Come! <gasps> Break through slow delay, and let the home watch one by crime, by equal deeds of crime be done. Away! Away!